Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So last weekend I was invited to beautiful Oslo in Norway by Mercedes-Benz to celebrate the launch of their new electric car. As you guys know I like to pack rather light but the most important thing for me when I pack is the effortlessness of the items that I pack. Especially for an event like this where I would arrive all alone not knowing anyone I'd like to not only look like the best version of myself, but also feel like the best version of myself and not add any extra layers of stress by worrying about what to wear. So I decided to stick to what I know best, a basic and minimal travel capsule that can easily be dressed both up and down. I've made a visual packing list over on my blog and I've pinned it onto my Pinterest as well. So similar items to those that I show you in this video can be found via the link to my blog below. I hope that this overview can help you next time you have to pack for a long weekend trip as well. The thing with Scandinavian weather is that it changes a lot. We can have almost all four seasons in just one day, which can make it kind of tricky to get dressed sometimes but I feel like I really did nail it this time around. The overall dress code for the daytime was casual with flat shoes and for the evenings it was smart casual. So for outerwear I brought my trench coat from Everlane because it is a nice spring coat but it's also water repellent which makes it a bit more practical for the unsteady Scandinavian weather. Then I brought a blazer to wear both during the days and in the evening. A basic black shirt is easy to dress up and down for an evening look but also easy to wear during the day. Then I packed a jumper so I would be able to layer up and then a couple of fresh tees because well I can never live without those. So for the bottoms, I brought two different pairs of trousers, my beloved vintage Levi's jeans and then a pair of white leg pants from Arkit. Both equally cool, effortless and comfortable. For the shoes, I brought a pair of sneakers for the daytime and then my metallic boots for the evenings. I swear I can add these boots to even the most boring outfit and then it's instantly more festive. I brought two bags for this trip, so my shopper bag for during the day and then my vintage Chanel bag for the evenings. This first look is what I traveled in. It's smart, classic, but comfortable above all, which is always nice when you travel. I always bring my shopper and or a tote bag to carry things such as my computer and my reusable water bottle and coffee cup. The two next outfits are variations of the looks that I wore during the other days and again they're super basic and in my eyes they make me look great but more importantly they make me feel great and confident as well. This is the look I wore on the most festive night during this weekend and again I felt really great in this although it just being a variation of one of my daytime looks spiced up with some nice shoes and accessories. That's just how I roll. I didn't get to wear the second look but it's definitely a great and easy evening look as well. So before wrapping up this video I just wanted to share some things that I like to do to keep my suitcase neat and tidy while I travel but in fact also make it easier to empty when I get home. 
As you'll quickly notice in this footage, I love reusable tote bags. They not only protect my more delicate items while I travel, but they're also a great alternative to actual packing cubes that you can buy and put inside of your suitcase. I'm sure many of us have a pile of these laying around already since it's something many brands have started to give their customers whenever they purchase something. So it's really nice to just be able to use these. Finally, I like to bring one large tote bag for my laundry, which again is super convenient when you get home and you have to empty the suitcase. Just a few accessories that I can't live without when I travel. A knitwear comb, if I'm bringing knitwear, and then my reusable lint remover in this travel size. And then sometimes I'll bring a travel steamer as well, but only if there's not already an iron in the hotel room. Then I also like to store my jewelry in this travel size jewelry box. So there you have it guys, that's what I brought with me to Oslo during this amazing event. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.